Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. If you have spiritual gifts that the Lord has gifted you, you have to decide, how did I get them? Why did they come to me? What brought them about in my capabilities? Why did Jesus give them to me and what do I do with them? When a person is living in homelessness, people don't want to believe that they have any part of Christ in them at all. They want to lie to themselves about what their rights are to them. They want to steal their property. They want to infiltrate their home. They want to get into their bank accounts. And they want to play with maintenance men until they get caught. And then they're stuck. The truth is in life that Jesus Christ is in almost everyone. But they often forget who Christ is within them. They don't think about how God feels about their behavior and about their choices. And they simply say, I'm going to do what I like because it feels good to me right now. But after a while it wears, it wanes, because they recognize that God is not in their decision, that Jesus didn't participate in what they chose for their life, and they just get it in the nick of time. But if they don't get it in the nick of time, why didn't they get it? Was it because they were behind the scenes, interfering and creating havoc in a family's life, or did they participate in something that was terrible and obscene? When I make these storylines, I'm trying to engage people's minds. I'm trying to help them to move their soul along a spiritual line. That if their spirit is off track, if they're not earning what they should be, if they're no longer themselves, if they don't look like themselves in the mirror, then someone has harmed them. Someone has lied to them. Someone has abused them. And someone is not God. You see, God is in all people. And when God plans a relationship and plans a life, he expects other people to stay out of it. He expects other people to regard his life as the Lord above all. And when someone does not regard God, it's obvious. It's evident in their life. It's evident in their children and their selfishness. It's evident that they get strife. They might not get it today, but they will get it tomorrow. Because God is an educational Lord. He teaches lessons, not you. He provides lessons to people, not you. And he does that because he is God. But when you fail God, when you lie, when you steal, when you cheat someone out of the love of their life, God will retaliate with something called COVID. He will continue to take lives because people don't regard the Lord above all anymore.